Kenya has pulled several firsts in many fronts over decades. Athletics, rugby, superhighways, free primary education, production of effective vaccines, devolution, progressive smallholder farmers, enterprising entrepreneurs, industrialists. They know too well that an essential component of any development planning is good data or statistics. Statistics is very important for any development. Failing to plan is planning to fail. Nationally, many developments that we continue to experience are as a result of quality statistics from the Kenyan National Bureau of Statistics. Kenya National Bureau of Statistics was established through an act of parliament in 2006. We have offices both at the headquarters in Nairobi and in all the 47 counties. We are mandated to collect, to analyze, to disseminate statistical information in this country. We are also the custodian of official statistics. Then we promote the use of the best practice and methods in production of statistics across what we call the national statistical system. Statistics are meant to help you understand that the future will be an outcome of the present. Official statistics collected, compiled and disseminated by the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, KNBS, provide a basis for understanding how Kenya interacts with others and how conditions compare with those elsewhere. We have seen a lot of surveys being carried out by the Bureau uh, to improve the economic statistics. Uh, KNBS was actually able to rebase uh, in 2014, which actually elevated our status from uh, at, at least developed countries to a lower middle income country. Governments and donors are more focused than ever before on the desired outcomes and impact of their development efforts and on using information to improve policy and decision making. KMBS have a very high level of competence and they have a lot of ambition to produce uh, good statistics. Uh, and so we decided that we could maybe assist them in working with the processes, in developing the ways that they are working in order to, to, to help them achieve the goals of, of uh, being an international uh, statistical agent. Citizens, meanwhile, need statistics to hold their governments to account. But the most important people are the respondents to our questionnaires because they are the people who provide you with the raw material. And it takes time. Statistics cannot be collected unless we move from one place to another to ensure we talk to people, we talk to the owners of establishments to collect the statistics that we require. We need to have light statistics, our quality statistics. Again, the budgeting process must be informed by statistics. Even the programs that we have need to be monitored and an evaluation to be carried out. We have a program uh, with the counties where we support all the counties. We send uh, teams to the field to ensure that uh, the ICT installations at the county level are functioning perfectly. These include computers, internet connectivities, softwares, uh, as well as uh, the telephone uh, network. Certainly, you have heard of terms like gross domestic product, GDP, inflation rate, unemployment rate, interest rate, income per capita, balance of payments. All these are derived from reliable statistical indices supplied by Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, KNBS, including calculations on consumer price index. Consumer price indexes are very important data because it helps the government know the rate of inflation, especially when there are fluctuations and uh, because we capture it in different regions. Secondly, it helps the general workers have the wage bargain. We go to people's households, we ask them for information. We also go to private agencies 
uh, like uh, hotels so that you can know how many people sleep there. And the reason, main reason that we collect this information is to be able to estimate the performance of the economy and also maybe for international comparisons. We have six directorates. We have macroeconomic directorates that looks broadly at the macroeconomic statistics. We have production statistics that looks at the real sector statistics. Then we also have population and social statistics directorate. Other directors are finance and administration, information and communication technology, strategy and development. Macroeconomics data indicators are very, very essential. The issue of data starts at uh, even at the common monetary level because when you want to use your money in terms of budgeting, how do you go about it? Because you need to come up with a budget and you're able to at least list the items that you want to buy. So that, that alone shows that the importance of data. In strategy and development, and especially when it comes to poverty and well-being, we really use data, we use statistics. We need to know how are Kenyans faring on. Because by you knowing that this is what is happening, you'll be able to come up with evidence-based planning, you'll be able to come up with targeted interventions. Our biggest uh, clients are farmers. They need to know market information, where to sell their produce, locally, regionally, internationally. They need to have information on the production systems, how to improve their production, how to adopt modern technology, weather issues, when should they plant, when should they prepare to harvest. Statistics are also deployed to monitor progress towards internationally agreed Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs. Through the Department of Economic Planning, the county government requested us to collect more information on water and sanitation. This is the number of households that have piped water, the distance between the household and the areas where they fetch water and the time covered. This will help them in curbing the problems that are faced by the community. They'll be able to know how many boreholes are in one region and how many households are served by that region. And in case there's, uh, more, there's a shortage of boreholes in one region, that is where they are able to drill more water. 2015, uh, we did a survey called Machakos County Social Economic Survey. And uh, we were trying to look at uh, what the people really need in terms of uh, development projects. And we realized that in almost all the sub-counties, like seven sub-counties in Machakos County, their priority was provision of water. And uh, in that financial year, we were able to allocate the highest amount of allocation, more than almost 30% of our budget, to the Department of Water, so that at least we could provide water for the people of Machakos. And uh, that, that, is, that is where like, uh, statistics played a crucial role in determining how we are going to allocate the resources so that most of the households in Machakos could be connected to water. Population censuses are the backbone of any national statistical system and are vital when done at least every 10 years. Census is uh, quite an important uh, exercise because it is the only activity that brings out the information of uh, a number of uh, specific uh, areas uh, of each and every individual residing within Kenya during the census period. So it forms also a benchmark for a number of other surveys to be undertaken. The first comprehensive census was undertaken in 1948 and the next one in 1962 that numerated 8.6 million people nationally. There are three major factors that contribute to the population growth. One is fertility level, second is uh, mortality, and the third is migration. Migration has two broad components, international and internal migration. The former involves movement across international boundaries, and the latter involves movement across administrative boundaries within a country. Look at the demographic statistics, the population, their ages, their sex, and their characteristics, so you require that. Then uh, the social aspect, the health issues, the disease prevalences, for example, we report on that. Then you look at even the number of health facilities in this country, 
the number of doctors, for example, in this country. The 2009 Kenya Population and Housing Census collected information on demographic and socio-economic indicators by administrative and political units. The census gave an analytical report covering fertility and nuptiality, mortality and health, migration, population dynamics, population projections, urbanization, education and literacy, labor force participation, estimated Kenyans in the diaspora, housing conditions and household amenities and assets, disability and well-being, information, communication and technology, ICT, deaths in the household, number of livestock owned, information on emigrants, household and family dynamics, and of course, gender parity. Statistics revolves around everything we do. Garissa County and the former NEP counties eh, and some of the other Upper Eastern counties are unique counties in form of uh, data collection and analysis. First, they have a challenge of vastness. We are looking at increasing awareness about the statistics of livestock and pastoralists and how directly they, uh, they would it, uh, it would benefit these communities. Nowadays, we have the county statistical abstract. It is meant to give a representation of various sectors, both public and private, that we have within the county. Hotel statistics and conferences, migration statistics because we have the border, Sirare, building and construction, animal and hides and skins, among others. We have very close collaboration, uh, working relationship with the county government because then they use quite a bit of our statistics to implement their programs and to do their planning. In today's data-saturated, highly visual and networked world, policymakers, researchers and journalists for just about everything need and use statistics. If statistics is not shared, then it has no purpose. So we normally do dissemination of our statistics through various medias, through publications, through our website, also sharing through emails to our various users. If MDAs, counties should produce sector statistical plans. Being a member of this uh, interagency sector committee is that we will be able to adopt uh, the county specific uh, sector statistic plan which will be the tool for development of proper statistics for the county government which will also help especially the planning unit to get the data interpret and be able to allocate the resources into the necessary interventions for poverty reduction and eradication kwa data ya wale e, wageni ambao wanakaa katika hayo, hayo maoteli wanaolala huko kila mwaka tunachukua pia data ya wale ambao ni wageni wa national park tunachukua kutoka kwa wahusika na hiyo data inasaidia ku assess e, yani ku, ku, kupima ni watu wangapi wanaingia Kenya kama wageni na inaweza kusaidia e, wale ambao wanatengeneza policies kama ni kutoa eh, mawaidha wanaweza kutoa jinsi ambavyo wanaweza kuboresha hiyo sekta ya, ya, ya utalii. Kenya's Vision 2030 identifies education and training sector as a key pillar in the country's plans for socio-economic development. The government introduced free primary education for all FPE in January of 2003 and in 2008 Free day secondary education was also introduced to ensure students from poor households have access to secondary education as part of basic education. Education for all will also contribute towards provision of employment opportunities and self-reliance of children with disabilities. Back then, when education would be accessed through pay, the girls towards standard 6 would drop out. The dropout rates were higher for girls than boys but today you'll get a class with more boys than girls and another with much more girls than boys 
Statistical analysis of school attendance by KNBS revealed that there was an increase in the population attending school from 34.9% in 1999 to 41.1% in 2009. In terms of gender, 44.5% males and 39.7% females were attending school in rural areas compared to 39.4% males and 38.5% females in urban areas. Kenya National Bureau of Statistics uses international methods to generate statistics. We are guided by what we call the UN Fundamental Principles of Official Statistics. And that upheld on the professionalism, the soundness in the methods that we use to generate statistics. Because we know that uh, we have to produce statistics that can be trusted. Use of appropriate data in decision making has seen aggressive campaign in mitigating the effects brought about by climate change. Campaigns to champion for clean energy at household and industrial levels are ongoing. And to protect our environment, aggressive tree planting is on course. It involves everyone, including the people living with disability. To this end, the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics has ensured that statistical information serves impetus to the direction, growth and development of our beloved nation, and nothing less. Their efficiency and effectiveness is pegged on innovation, invention, creativity and resourcefulness in service delivery. KNBS, keeping you informed.